Okay, guys. I'm continuing to chronicle what might be the most bizarre cloud formations uh, <laughs> the dude who was just here agreed with me that this is some crazy shit that we've been sitting here watching and, and look at this thing that's forming this circle in the middle with the dot I, I, I mean this is some crazy shit uh, watching these things take form uh, we, we don't know where the chemtrails begin and end so like you see one now you know I'm using the word chemtrails the cap trails uh, so the the planes start these off and, and, and you see what's happening here so the the chemtrail comes down like this and then it starts to make a uh, like a U and the it, it then the the chemtrail as the thing spreads out it pushes the cloud out and then you have these weird ass circles and uh, this crazy thing over here, I'm, I'm hoping this is going to be absolutely outrageous here in the sunset. The, the chemtrail down the middle has now disappeared. So how this started was, so the chemtrail comes through here, it spreads out and like pushed the, the clouds off to either side and is now making this weird ass loop and the, the same thing was happening here you see the circle that's starting to fall apart but now we're sitting here watching this new one get made while uh, this this crazy that crazy thing in the middle that round thing looking like a damn UFO in the middle and so uh, so this is exactly how this last one formed you see what's happening so the the thing is spreading out and it's like it's pushing the clouds on either side outward uh, and that thing is going to get bigger and bigger and eventually it's going to turn into uh, well let me I go back this way it, it's, it's going to turn into something like that I, I've never seen this crazy shit in, in my entire life, uh, say the dude who is here, he is he, he agrees with me. He, you know that th this is some crazy ass shit that we're watching happening uh, in, in the sky. Whether uh, whether this is is natural or just. I mean, you're you're watching, and we we see this one coming out of the bottom. We've we've watched this one here. This one is is fairly freshly made. That one. Man, all right. I don't believe it. We got the osprey. <laughs> we got the osprey getting the fish. Did he get the fish? I think he did. I don't believe it. What do you think, Sancho? That, that, that bird knows how to get the fish out of the thing like this. So uh, we're out here enjoying a, uh, another spectacular, soon-to-be chemtrail sunset over the end times. Watching the, uh, the ospreys nail the fish. I think I have some company joining me, so I might should stop talking about chemtrails.
Oh, man. It is just an unbelievably gorgeous. Look at this crazy shit. Uh, I have no idea what percentage of these things are... Uh, or natural clouds or coming out of the back of airplane clouds. <sighs> Look at that. Sometimes the reflections of this is the reflection of that round hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little blue heron. I guess the ospreys don't eat the little blue herons. They stick to the fish. Okay. Sunset going down. Oh, man. The dog is busy getting his fishies light out. Good lord. All right, those are bluegills. Those are the two biggest bluegills. You can make a meal out of those, guys. I've got to go. Uh... They have these things called no seams down here when there's no wind. These no seam mosquitoes. All right. Camera down so I don't miss anything. Little dog, I gotta go get a long sleeve shirt on for these no seams. I mean, gotta get some bread for the fishies. Right, you stay. You stay there. I'm gonna get some bread for the fishies. Uh, it was 91 degrees here today. 91. I'm supposed to be uh, having a big burn pile, but good lord, 91 degrees on November. What is it, eighth or ninth? But I will take it over the snow in Candor, New York, any day. Uh, well, all right, they're done. We got the hey, come over here. There's the fishies over there. Let's give the fishies. We're gonna feed the fishies some goldfishies. All right, we got the fishies. Going after the goldfish like that. You need to get. You need to get those fishies. They're going after the goldfish. Fishies like the goldfish. You getting the fishies or not? You need to get that fishy like that. Get those fishies like that. And getting the fishies or not, those fishies like that. That fishy light up. Uh, 
I'm having a hard time with a gopher. Alright, I gotta get this. Oh, there's a big boy. Big boy coming in. Man. Alright, so you can see what this one is now doing. Making this round circle. It's quite a bit like a prostate massager, actually. Uh, <laughs> yes, the you can't say Mother Nature is getting her prostate massage. Does Mother Nature have a prostate? All right. Let's get this. Okay, they're popping holes in the bed. You look at that piece of bed like that. Those crazy fishes. Those crazy fishes like that. Running up. You need to get those fishies like that. Those fishies like that. And the piece of bread is disappearing quick. There goes the piece of bread. Alright, this beautiful sunset is shaping up for another spectacularly gorgeous sunset over the end times in paradise. This doesn't get any prettier than that, does it? Oh, let's get some more. Check her. Our chemtrail is turning pink. Doing this thing. Get the fishes. The little fishes. I don't know what these fish eat when there's not people throwing them bread all day because there's 10,000 fish in here. I need to get those fishies right up. I'm not sure I get the fishies right up. Mmm. Man. You just gotta love it. the the only
lonely person here enjoying this outrageous sunset. So this is what the one right above me has turned into now. Mm. Lost my goldfish. Okay. Pretty weird. Never seen this in my entire life, and now I've seen six of them in one afternoon. There is fish over Tim Trail Sunset Reflection. <laughs> that is a Now, how many places on the planet can you be looking at fish swimming in the reflection of a chemtrail sunset? This is in the Withlacoochee River. And uh, I've done that one in Florida. Man. Oops. Let's bag it out. This is my most outrageous sunset yet. This is sunset number... Sunset number six. Over the end times, here come these sand hill cranes. Flying home. Gotta love the sand hill cranes. I don't know why they're not making any noise. Mm. You know... I think of people in New York and Vermont and godforsaken hell holes like that. <laughs> now I admit 91 is a little bit <laughs> steep on November 9th, but So this little cap trail is burning out right behind the plane. Doesn't seem to be making one of these weird things. Who was it? Steinbeck and I think it travels with Charlie. What was his sunset description? Bloody eggs smeared across the sky. There you go. We're enjoying some bloody eggs smeared across the sky. Okay, now here's 
the line of this weird cloud now. Just looking up river. That's pretty gorgeous even looking that direction. Doesn't matter which way you turn your head. There's our <laughs> our main bizarre chem trail. And God will admit, gum trails can make pretty gorgeous sunsets. No, this is the and global industrial civilization sunset. You could not have this sunset without global industrial civilization. I mean, we can thank, get over there. We can thank global industrial civilization for this unbelievably, spectacularly gorgeous sunset in paradise over the end times. None of these boring old fashioned sunsets. I highly recommend the Goldfish Flavor Blasted Extra Cheddar Goldfish. Alright, this Osprey doesn't look like he has a fish to catch. No fish for that Osprey. Mm. Dragonflies flying around in November. And Lord. Let's pan this all the way out. There's the wide angle shot of sunset over the end times. Man. This is one block from my beat up old trailer. I'll have to find my song uh trailer bound and uh, read that out tonight trailer bound yepers Life in the trailer at the end of the road. Hmm. I have no hot water to take a shower if you had any idea how much I need a shower tonight after slaving over a giant weed whacker all day. No shower for me, and it could be tomorrow. Back to the bucket. <laughs> Back to the bucket. Oh, I lose the toilet and the shower. Oh boy, the collapse. Bye. You know, the sunsets like these, 
bring it on so these are all chemtrail um, the rosy glow of the cap trails This is one thing I do not have that bugs in a jar farm. Are these sunsets? There is not one boat out on the water. Not one boat trailer here at the at the boat ramp. See, looking at into this camera view, it just doesn't do it justice. What the the real colors in the sunset are, just it just doesn't make it. Uh, what looks like is is almost yellow in the camera is this absolutely shocking vermilion orange in real life and it just looks like it's more of a golden yellow in the in the viewfinder this is why you have to get out there and enjoy it yourself Instead of living life vicariously. Man. Pretty sweet. Like the night birds are beginning to come out. <clears throat> I might hear this great horned owl hooting. It should be time for the great horned owl. If you wake up, there comes a guy putting in his boat. All right. We have someone out for a nighttime. boat trip make the fine time to start there okay let's zero in this guy can back about as well as me Hope he's not going to take the front of my truck off. <laughs> that would be me backing. I am impressed about how well, some people back their boats into these under this boat ramp. This guy looks like me. This is going to take him 20 minutes to get his boat. 
But anyway... The final fade... On sunset number six. Thinking about moving my damn truck. Okay. Perfect timing. He just missed a fine sunset. Ma'am. All right. We will call it another sunset. Sancho's found him a friend. I have to go talk to some normies about their beautiful boat. Sancho. Oh, 